So as we all know, data is booming right now. It's probably one of the most in-demand fields of this decade. I've seen so many studies and articles talk about how attractive data science or data analytics is. However, I do think there might be a better option in data engineering. Some of you might already be familiar with this path, but for those of you who aren't, let me fill you in. If you're like me, you've probably heard the title data engineer before, but how much do you really know about the role? I was first introduced to that role early in 2023 when I was interviewing with a lot of companies. One day, I randomly just noticed the data engineering title on that invites you get for an interview, and I didn't really think anything of it, but eventually I noticed a pattern where data engineers were almost always in all of my panel interviews, so I got curious and did some digging. I came to find that was actually a pretty crucial role for any data team and that their job was actually pretty interesting. On a high level, data engineers are responsible for creating, managing, and monitoring pipelines that are used to ingest data. They are the people who usually set up these pipelines to extract, transform, and load data into different warehouses, data lakes, or even BI tools. Like I said before, I never really thought anything of it beforehand, but after I got some context, things started connecting for me. Obviously, the data didn't just magically appear in my Tableau dashboard and update every single day. There was a process for it to get there and be updated. So yeah, this got me curious and I did more digging and even asked a lot of questions during my interviews to these data engineers, which ultimately helped me decide on a company to work for. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Ranesh and I'm a data scientist currently working in a tech startup. And one of the main reasons I chose this tech startup was not only for the growth opportunity within data science, but also for any adjacent role. One of my mentors when I first got started was actually a data engineer who gave me a lot of the knowledge that I actually have right now as it comes to data engineering. They started kind of as a business analyst and transitioned into a data analyst role and shortly after they became a data engineer. Since I was fully shadowing them for the first few weeks, I got to know what they did, how they did it, and what the impact was. Within our company, for example, they were fully responsible for creating and managing all the transformations within our ETL process. And they were also responsible for monitoring all the pipelines uh, to extract data from different sources like our production database, our CRM tools, our ad campaigns, and stuff like that. They also worked very closely with our analysts to understand what their needs were so that they could either provide that data by uh, creating new pipelines to ingest new data, modifying existing transformations to uh, modify the data, or structure new data based on different APIs. A lot of people tend to describe data engineers as plumbers but for data, and from what I see, I tend to agree. However, I think it's at a very big scale. Like one line of code change could realistically result in money saved through warehouse costs or optimizing a query to save time on a dashboard. I've also had the privilege of interviewing a lot of different data engineers and I've noticed that their resumes are almost always stacked with KPIs like revenue saved or even time saved by splitting a dashboard runtime in half. And for those of you who don't understand why this is so important, metrics like this that tie back to the company's bottom line will help you get a promotion much quicker or even a merit raise or a bonus. I can attest to this firsthand, my mentor actually had a lot of significant merit increases in a short time span because of the work he did to save our company money and time. And after he left, the knowledge he passed down to me also allowed me to leverage those skills to get a pretty good promotion and raise. So all that is nice and good, but what exactly makes data engineering the most underrated career in 2025, in my opinion at least? Well, for starters, as a company grows, their data tends to grow with them, which will require a lot more people to tend to that data. And as we're currently in the age of AI and big data, I think it's pretty safe to assume that the demand for data engineers will increase too. That means more data engineering jobs opening, and if you've noticed, a lot of data science and data analytics roles are getting pretty damn saturated. If you think about it from a different perspective, you kind of need data engineers to make use of that data or pull that data in, store it somewhere and make it usable in a structured format or unstructured format or some format so your data analysts and data scientists can make dashboards, reports, machine learning models with that data. Personally, I think it's super refreshing to find a niche that isn't as hyped but pays just as well. Oh yeah, by the way, the pay is incredibly good too. The salary ranges for a data engineer in the US is within 110 to 160,000 US dollars with a median salary of 130,000. I can tell you from personal experience that that is a pretty realistic range. I know people who started off with a base of 90K and jumped to 110K in the same year, and in the next year, they got a pay bump all the way up to 150K. Now you might be thinking it's probably super hard to land a data engineering job or the requirements are just insane like a PhD or a master's degree. For context, my company had a few data engineers and none of them had PhDs. In fact, most of them started as a data analyst or a data scientist and slowly transitioned into a data engineer. At the base level, the general requirements are experience with SQL and Python and you also probably want to learn some cloud infrastructure so you can handle big data. These days, there are so many tools like Databricks, Snowflake, Airbyte, Airflow, and many more that kind of do majority of the work for you. My very first data engineering project was just a simple Python script to extract data from an API and then convert that raw JSON data into structured usable data for a machine learning model. Then improved it by making it more efficient through better and cleaner code. I was also able to get more data and overcome rate limits through batch extractions. 
and eventually I was able to store all that transform data in my own hosted database through a scheduled job. Now, present day, part of my job is to manage our data infrastructure with all the pipelines and connections we have, which total up to a lot of data. Obviously, it might not be as sexy as a job if you compare it to a data scientist or a machine learning engineer, which is why people don't cover it as much. However, you get paid well and it's pretty easy to break into. Like I said, you probably don't need a PhD or a master's degree. You can start off as a data analyst and grow into this role. And realistically, you don't really need much math or theory. I think a lot of people choose data science because of the high pay, but they're really not that suited for that role. Maybe they don't really like math or theory too much and prefer more procedural or objective roles. And if that's you, I think data engineering might just be the job for you. Personally, I wish I knew about this role sooner so I could have had the option too, but I'm pretty content with my role and my progress that I've made so far. If you're interested in learning more about the differences between a data engineer and a data scientist or even a data analyst, I made a video covering that exact topic and I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. The best part about this role in my opinion is that there's a lot of different sub roles within it like a database administrator or even a data analytics engineer. These roles are generally a subset of data engineering and you act as a bridge between the data engineers and also other teams like data science or BI teams. DBT is a great tool and skill to learn for those of you who are interested in becoming a data analytics engineer. I'll leave a free course link down below for those of you who are interested. And overall, data engineering has a lot more learning resources readily available in my opinion at least. Like Zach Wilson, for example, who's a famous data engineer who worked at main companies is hosting a free bootcamp teaching data engineering basics to those of you who want to land a data engineering job. For context, he was making more than 500K a year from W2 income, so I think it's worthwhile checking him out. Now, personally, I think regardless if you want to become a data engineer or not, I think it's very beneficial to learn some data engineering skills if you're interested in the field of data. Take it from me, it will almost certainly benefit you in any adjacent role in the field. Anyway, I hope this video gave you some context or perspective that you didn't already have. If you enjoyed it, do consider leaving a like down below and a subscribe would help the channel out a lot. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below too. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.